Hello, you see me? Now? Yeah, now I can see you. All right, say that, say that. So, nice to meet you, bro. Um, I'm good for my money, I'm not gonna scam you, all right? I can send half now if you want half after, um, but I'll, I'm not gonna scam you, bro. You know what I mean, I'm not, I'm not a scammer. Yeah, most people who say that are scammers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> most people I think are bullshitters. Uh, most people pay me for my interview before I do the interview. So if you can't pay me before to do the interview, I don't want to do it because I ain't no scammer. Okay, fair game. I'll tell you what. Yeah, say, say, say Cheese TV paid me $7,500 for an interview and he paid me before we do the interview. Everybody paid me before. My name too big not to do the interview, but I don't know if I'm not going to get paid after the interview. That's true. That's true. Fair game. Fair game. Do you do any middlemen? You know what? Fuck it. I'll just send you the money. You know what? Yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're right, bro. I'm going to just send you the money. Uh, Ned, I think you're trying to fuck me. No, I'm not trying to fuck you. I'm oh. Not... Well, well, other than that, because I've been, I, I, you know, a lot of people play a lot of games. I'm new to the industry. Well, I'm saying who tried, uh, to, who tried to fuck you? Uh, nobody. I ain't going to let them. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hard-nosed motherfucker. <laughs> so we have to talk about some stuff. I'm going to send the money right now. Let me make sure you get it before we start talking, but... I, I have you know, Mr. White. Uh, can, can you smoke on here? Yeah, do you can say and do whatever you want. Oh shit, we finna go ain't shit crazy tonight then. Well, yes and no, because there's some things that you say sometimes that really kind of like grind my gears. For example, Mr. White, I'm Jewish. I've never met a Jewish person day before in my life. Don't know what they look like. Well, you're looking at one. <laughs> you look like a white boy to me. Okay. But I'm saying I'm Jewish. They said that you said something about Jews, you know. I said something about black people, niggas, Jews, white, Mexicans, Asian, Africans, North Koreans, gays, everything. Dog, cat. I just said some horrible shit about everything. Fair enough. Fair game then, okay? I mean, if you dissed everybody, then it's fair game, I guess. So the first thing I want to ask you is this, man. Hold on, let me just make sure this money gets sent through. Let me make sure. All right. Where are you at right now, by the way? I'm in Texas. Texas? Shout out to- Yeah, uh, Dallas, Dallas, Texas. All right, look, bro. Look, look at the camera. Look, $5,000 sent to you. $5,000. I'll give you $5,000, okay? Are you kidding? Did you just fucking run off my money? No, motherfucker. Oh, okay. I just went, I just went, I just went and checked the cash app to make sure it came through. You still up? Yeah, I'm here. You see me? Uh, it got a funny looking little Jewish kid on there with a mask on. Where you go? What the oh, fuck? I, not, it says unstable internet connection. Is that me? Yeah. Why did you just call me a fuck? Can you see me? Yeah, do you see me? I see you now. How many fingers am I holding up? Four. No, three. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Slow everything down a notch. Let's just take everything back a notch. The first thing I want to talk right. about is this. I didn't know this. I'm a good friend of Uzi, okay? Well, we haven't spoken in a while, but you know, it's a good friend of mine. I've had good memories with him. He's a good guy. You, you, you know, he put you on his album, Pink Tape. Did you know about that? Yeah, he paid me. What? I got a nice check from the record company. Huh? I got a nice check from the record company and I get a plaque. When that, when that motherfucker go plaque, I get one too. That's crazy. I'm on, a, I'm on the motherfucker, on the intro. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But you were dissing him, bro. Why'd you come at Uzi like that? I don't like rappers. Oh, you don't? Well, who's your favorite rapper then? Oh, uh, they dead, Tupac. Oh, yeah, R.I.P. Tupac. He's a goat, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tupac, my favorite rapper. So why don't you like rappers? Uh, most of them are fakes and frauds. Most of them aren't real leaders in their community. Most of them are pussies in their group. Gotcha. So, um, do you know, do you know Young Boy? Yeah, I know of him. You, you fuck with Young Boy? He makes pretty good music. Nah, I don't like him either. Why? Uh, he young and dumb. Fuck, I'm almost, yeah, man, what, what would I more like about him? Of, of somebody calling himself Young Boy. I'm a man. Oh, no words that a boy says appeals to my ears. Most boys are stupid to grown men. You know, how old are you, sir? I'm 46. So I'm 20, uh, I'm about to be 23, so you're almost double my age. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, 
You don't have a fully developed brain. Not yet, but in two years, technically I will. Yeah, technically. Technically. And, and, and in two years, it'll be like a light switch came on. So wait, so you're telling me right now from in two years, my mind will be completely different? I promise you it will. What? It's going to be like somebody just snapped and like a fucking light came I promise like a fucking light came on. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Um, yeah. That's crazy. So I want to I talk about two things I saw that I didn't like. Okay. We're going to address the elephants in the room. The first thing I want to say is this, man. You know, what happened with these Chi the Chinese community? You know, I got Chinese people watching right now. You know, um, I have a very good Chinese friend. I love China. China. I don't have no. Why don't you have any Chinese friends, Mr. White? Oh, uh, because I was born in the South. And we don't make friends with other races in the South. Well, hold on a second. You would make friends with me. Oh, uh, probably to date one of your sisters. But other than that, no. All right. Stop. Stop. You would not date one of my sisters, first of all. They're not respectfully. No, fuck that. Disrespectfully, they're not fucking you, okay? I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm going to be honest, bro. They're not fucking you, bro. I'm just being honest. I didn't say they would. You asked me a question, but so bro, don't get but offended by I'm not. Asking. You know what? You're right. Fair I enough. just said only way I would Fair. try to be friend to white boy if I like his sister or somebody. Other than that, we don't make friends with white boy where I'm from. So we you, sell them dope, rob them, or fuck over them. Or they fuck over us, fire us on the job, mistreat us, pull us over. It's already understood. But that has nothing to do with me. If a white cop pulls you over, I'm not pulling you over. You don't know me, bro. Don't assume all white people are going to pull you over. I haven't, I, I haven't never said anything about you. I'm just saying, bro, you don't. So look, let's just say you and I met and we became best friends when you were a child. Then what? My mother wouldn't let me be friend with a best friend with a white person. No, my grandmother. You couldn't even came on the porch and play with her. Why not? Because we didn't trust white people. We didn't. We were raised not to trust white people. What did I, bro? What did I do though, bro? I didn't do shit. You haven't done nothing. You just painted a scenario, said that we were little boys, and I'm saying you haven't done nothing. You're white. You ain't gotta do nothing. Your ancestors done something that we don't like. So we prefer not to make friends Listen. with you. Fair now, right? my kids, my kids don't have this same concept. But you're talking to a guy who was born in 1977. God first, damn! First generation of black children after Dr. King's dream. Okay, fair enough. So, I mean, it's completely different generations of over. There world. you go. There I mean, you I get go. it, but it's still ignorant to think that I'm... Well, I, want, I, I want to be ignorant. I don't have any white friends <laughs> except a white police officer. Why are you friends with him? Well, because he put a bunch of niggas in jail. <laughs> you just said that you're only friends with black people. I, I said, I don't mean I don't want to put them in jail. I got some friends I don't like. Wait, so you put your own friends in jail? I have if they committed a crime. Bro, wh what crimes have they committed for you to put them in jail? A uh, murder, a uh, drug dealing, robbery, a bunch of shit. So you snitch on your own friends? I have, yeah. For what? What do you get out of that? Uh, because it's the right thing to do. If you do wrong, you do wrong. That's cool. nobody, no, nobody protects and condones wrong with bad people. I don't want to be hey, a bad person. I'm going to be honest, though, bro. Not every human being is perfect, and you even know that. I'm sure you, uh, can, you've, we're, 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 you've committed we're, illegal we're, activity. We're, I know we're, you we're, have. We're, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. We're not talking about perfect. We're talking about committing crimes and being bad. But I'm saying, fair enough. But you've committed crimes for sure. Sure I have. And I, sure, and I went to jail for it. Oh, okay. Has there, any, has there been any crimes you've committed that you have not gone to jail for? Oh, uh, yeah. So, so shouldn't you just be yourself reporting yourself and turning yourself in? I did. Well, good for you. What did you do? Yeah, I admitted it. What'd you do? A bunch of shit. Like what? A bunch of shit. Go ahead. A bunch of shit. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right. Well, what's the craziest snitch story that you've ever done? I called, I called CPS on finesse two times, the rapper. Why? Oh, um, just because I felt like it. You gotta understand something, bro. You know, <laughs> you just can't be like, but, that's just not, are you from the streets? No, never been in, never. I was born in a suburban area, upper middle class, loving, nurturing home. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what it's like to grow up in the hood, to be poor, to go to bed hungry. I don't know what that shit is like. Oh, okay, okay. So then I guess maybe you live differently for that. Then. I mean, you live differently. A lot, of mo- a lot of differently. We prayed at every meal. Gotcha. I grew up in my own room. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I made good grades in school. Me too. I, I did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I don't know nothing about the hood shit, money. I only learned that through rap music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tupac is great, bro. I love Tupac. He's, he's definitely one of the, you know, his poetry is crazy. It's amazing, you know? Great actor. He was a, he, he was a great poet, a great actor, great entertainer. Uh, he was more than just a rapper. That's true. He was a very, he's a, he was an icon, literally an icon. Yeah. Literally an icon. Well, look, man, you know, um, can, uh, yeah, do me a favor. You know what? Let's do this. I know you, you know, you got to adapt in this 2020, 2023 nonsense. I mean, it's not nonsense, but you got to adapt, man. Look, listen, Mr. Charleston White, I'm not telling you to forcefully like my kind, but I think you and I can really become good friends. But what's your kind? White people or Jewish people. You know, I'm white and I'm, I'm Jewish. No, what? What do you not like about what? Why, why do I have? Why, why do I have to have a Jewish friend? You don't have. Why? You don't have to. I mean, you. You know. I I, I I fared well in life with the friends that I like. Yeah. Why do I need to change? Why do I need to change and adapt? You could always. Why? Be, you, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not out. Shooting up Jewish side and all. I'm not robbing Jewish stores. I don't even go in Jewish communities. I don't even know what Jewish people look like to bother one or not to make friends with one because they're Jewish. I look for my kind. And how do I identify my kind? By their actions. Can I, t- can I ask you a question? Forget I said yes, Jewish people, white people. White people. Yeah. Do you like white people? Uh, for the most part, no. Why? White people don't like black people. That's not true. That's ignorant to think that. That, that, that is true. No, it's not. You don't. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from uh, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and you want me to believe white people like black people. You lying to me and I done been all through Florida. You're talking to a 46-year-old man who's been born and raised in America, son. I understand. Racism is embedded. Prejudice is embedded. No, it's not. Ideologies. Ideologies. Are you fucking delusional? No, no, it's not. You. I'm enjoying life not having white friends. Okay. I'm, that's good you're enjoying life. Maybe one white friend can't hurt. Your perspective on life might change, sir. You're being ignorant. I, 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 I don't think i go to heaven. I don't think my ancestors would embrace me if I die if I with white friends. That's so ignorant. That's like saying I can't be, friend, that's like saying I can't be friends with a German person. Like, what are you talking about? Because I'm Jewish. You know what Germans did. You know the Jew, the Germans did the Jews. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's like saying I can't be friends with a German. I wouldn't be. You're the part of the problem in this world, bro. Because you're ignorant. I want to be. But I listen, know. But, but listen. But listen. But listen. My ignorance stays in my home. My ignorance doesn't you're bother outside. anybody. You're outside right now, bro. You're outside. No, no I'm not. I, I'm outside around a bunch of black people who think how I think. So you're telling me there's only black people right around your car right now? Yeah, only black people. Let me show you. A bunch of niggas. Bro. A bunch of motherfucking niggas around my car right now who don't want to make friends with white people. Do y'all want white friends? You see that? What the hell? No. Bro, 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 it ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay, okay. We just, listen, just because I don't want to be a homosexual, that don't mean I don't bother. What you just, why you get mad? Hold on. It's the same thing. It's the same concept. Just because I don't want to be a homosexual, I don't like homosexuals, don't mean I have to accept them. Wait. Just because I don't want to have white fair friends. Fair enough, fair enough. All right. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Do, we, do you like gay That's people? Do you like gay people? I hate gay people. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, I hate gay people. Why? Because I think gay people go burn in hell. We can't reproduce. Bro. And the sickest thing in the world is for the two of the same kind of like one another. <laughs> so let me ask yeah, you a question. Have you, ever, oh, hold on, hold on. Have you ever had a threesome before? Never. Oh, do you like threesomes? No. I only got one dick. Fuck I'm going to do with two pussies with one dick and I don't eat pussy. You don't eat pussy? You never eat pussy? No. No. Man, that's cap. You've definitely ate pussy before. No. 
We come from an era of generation. That's a white boy doing. Nigga, white nigga, nigga, real nigga don't suck pussy. White boys do that in porno. We come from era. We slang dick. We got big dicks. We want to share them off in you. Fuck, I'm going to wet my mouth. No, man. You do, you do have a big dick compared to mine. I know you have a bigger dick than me. I know. No, so this is what I'm saying. Listen, listen to me, young, young brother. Yeah. There's a generation of men, of black men, they don't kiss on necks. They don't, that's the white boy. That's the animals do that. And white boys are more like animals than we are. They got the fur, we got hair. I so white boys, on, Mr. Hold white on, boys lick each other Charleston, hand. Charleston, 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 hand. Charleston, I have hair. Now that's fur. That's hair. According to your DNA, that's fair. That's, that's fur. That's like, fur. You got, listen, your hair is more like dog fur <laughs> than my hair. I got kinky hair. This is hair. No, no. That's fur. You got teddy bear hair like sir. We got kinky hair like wool, <laughs> which is hair. Wool like hair. Y'all have fur like dogs. Hmm. Okay. That's why y'all let dogs lick you in the mouth. Y'all eat all ass. Right. All right. Listen, listen, listen. And do all that other kind of shit. Listen. Because y'all poor like beef. I don't let my dog lick my mouth. I let my dog lick my face. That's normal. Uh, I wouldn't let a dog lick me no Come motherfucker. On, bro. Bro. Get away, cat, man. Bro. Y'all hate dogs. You hate dogs? I hate dogs like a motherfucker. Why do you hate dogs? Oh, uh, cause white people like them. Bro, you are, there's something wrong, bro. Cassie, have you ever been dropped before uh, on your head? Yeah, when I was when I was nine months old, I got a flight of stairs. My, my twin brothers were trying to carry me uh, to my mama, and the motherfucker dropped me, I'm busted sorry. back my head over right here. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um, you made me smart in the motherfucker since then. Eh. Wait, let me ask you a question. So, do you know about the Island Boys? You know who those people are? Ain't that them two kids that was on Jeffrey Epstein's island? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's them two boys over there on Jeffrey Epstein's island. They were fucking them. Dude, you know all the celebrities were fucking them. Wait, they when were? they were baby. Wait, what? Ain't that them the two boys that was on Jeffrey Epstein's island? I don't even know that. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. What the fuck? Wait, Tat, really? Hold the fuck up. On God. You think I'm bullshit? I'm oh. not bullshitting you. What the I'm telling you the God's not is true. Them boys had their shitters pushed in when they were little bitty boys. Wait, what? Boy, them celebrities were shoving that dick off when they been the boy when they were little bitty boy. Um, okay. Um, oh, what do you think about uh transgenders? Who asking these kind of motherfuckers? What about transgenders? My, my chat wants to know. It's a live chat. They're just, they love you, but they're just asking this. Well, what they want to know about transgender? What is your opinion on them? They need their ass kicked. Uh-huh. Transgender fight transgender. And let me say, this is why I say this. Because you got these big, bulky men transgenders that want to be women signing up for women's sports with the physical dominance of a man still. So transgender should be in their own motherfucking world. It should be a transgender island. Okay. Yo, dude, I will say this though, bro. Do you, do, be honest, you talking to me, dude, what is your first impression off me? And be honest, your, your brain, what is it thinking right now? Uh, you're a young, rich, stupid white kid that don't know nothing. Okay. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. It's just because you're young, you're young and dumb. That's See, all. Most you know, young people but, but you know I'm smart though, right? I know you're very fucking smart. I've done my research on you, buddy. Yeah, I know you're very fucking smart. Very intelligent. Thank you, bro. I Got a lot of charisma. Oh, you got a lot of fucking charisma. Oh, but you bright eyed and bushy tail. You don't know the ugliness of the world. You think America. <laughs> you think the old days of America don't exist anymore. They don't. Oh. Well, let me just say this. The 1964 civil rights legislation. Those people are still alive. What do you mean it don't exist anymore? No, no. You I think say, so? I oh, say- hey, just hear me out. Most of our congressmen and politicians who are in power, have been in power. Look how old they are. You think those minds still don't exist? The CEOs, the regulators. You, you think those minds and ideologies, they haven't died off yet. Now, when you guys get to my age, America won't really deal with racism. It'll be more classism because you guys don't harbor the racism ideologies. You see how you're debating with me about this bullshit ideology I have? And I'm telling you, it's a bullshit ideology. 
Well, all I'm saying is this, sir. I, I get what you're saying. Racism 100% still exists in this world. I'm not doubting that. But I'm saying CEO wise, all these masters, like on top of like the world and shit. I'm quoting masters because like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like the CEOs, all these boss elites and shit. Yes. But you and I, no, bro. There's no racism here. I have no race. I don't look at you and be like, oh, I don't like you because I'm you're black. When you look at me, do you say, I don't like this white boy? Be honest. I will walk right by you and wouldn't think nothing about you. Thank you. You just mind your business, toot your hoop or whatever. Yeah. Walk right past me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I want to. Okay. But if you stop, but if you stop and ask me for directions, we might have a problem. Fuck this white boy stopping fucking with me, fucking he low. So if I'm in your neighborhood in, in Texas, right, somewhere, and I say, hey, sir, I'm lost. Can you help me with some directions? I'm going to look at you and keep going. This white boy trying to buy dope. He trying to buy some dope or some pussy. I'm gonna keep going. White boy playing. That makes Fuck no sense. Down. That makes Fuck sense. Fuck he doing that. Fuck he doing down here amongst these niggas lost. He done turned wrong turn. You saw that move. You better get your ass out of here, white boy. Okay, but what if I call you a black boy? Am I the bad guy? No. Oh. Okay, black boy. My bad. Wait, all right. Yeah. Next, next part. What's your what's your opinion on the Adam 22 Lena situation? I think Adam wants some dick too. <laughs> Wait, why? Uh, why would you lay there and watch a guy put all that rotor rooter in your woman's ass if you don't want none? Did you see how he was fucking her? You watched Shit, it? No, you goddamn right I watched it. First time Lana got some nigga dick in her on tape. Shit, I watched every inch of that dick go in her. I watched her bite the sheets. I saw when she rubbed his thigh. I watched every smirk and smile on her face. <laughs> oh, my! I want to fuck her now. <laughs> Wait, so wait, they are looking, I think, for a part two. Would you actually do it? You goddamn right I'd do it. Really? But Adam, can't, but Adam can't be in the room when I fuck his woman. Why? Fuck, I want that white boy. He just, he trying to, yeah. That's how they used to do the slaves when they used to try to buy. All right, that's not, well, I don't know if that's true. Wait. Yes, it is. They used to put the nigga boy up on the, on the slave chopping block and Bro. stand up there butt naked with that big old torpedo. And the and the missus be looking and they be looking at each other and hey, I want him so hey, I want him. And they, they used to pick him by the torpedo. Not because they thought he could pick do a lot of work. They used to auction off the slave butt naked with that big old African dick up there. You think they wasn't picking that dick size for nothing? Really? Yes. See you young, you don't know nothing about these kind of things, ain't it? You think Adam 22 sits on this platform with all those down low game bangers? Remember, his other buddy he had on her house phone was fucking a transsexual. And Lena fucked the house phone. Remember? Well, so Adam got a, Adam got all these slaves around him. Gang banging oh, All right. Him. I wouldn't say they're Hold up, listen. Don't cut, don't be so quick to respond out of emotion. Let me finish. Because in America, slavery wasn't abolished completely. It says. It's abolished, except you have duly been convicted of a crime. So if you have a felony conviction of your record, according to the Constitution, you're a slave. 14th Amendment. Damn. So Adam 22 has a bunch of convicted felons around him. According to the Constitution, he's a slave. He gives them jobs and advertisement for monetary value just like sharecropping. In return, they fuck his woman. <laughs> Bro. Oh my God. Wait, they want to ask, what happened to your eye? I lost it playing with a homemade slingshot as a kid. So you know how you get a pencil yeah. and a pen yeah. and you get the rubber band, the pencil flicked up and hit me in the eye. So I wasn't a poor nigga kid, so I had a lot of recreational activities growing up so the day later two days later we went to the circus and i used to be crazy about clowns and it was a bunch of clowns standing outside the circus getting ready to go into it and man i took off running and i used to run with my head down like this and then raise up man i took off running and because my vision was a little brewery i ran into a pole and the impact from that pole caused the blood clot on my on my cornea of my lens so I had nine eye surgeries before they had to remove. No. Can you see out of it? 
It's a fucking prosthetic gland. Can you feel anything with a prosthetic arm? No. My bad. It's a hole, motherfucker. I know. I'm sorry. Goddamn. Aiden, don't do that. Oh, Aiden, don't pick on me, man. I used to kick people's ass by this eye. No, no. I, I, I swear to God. I just, I, no, bro, I didn't know. I didn't know how it works in the first place. No, no, I'm just fucking. I'm just fucking with you. Oh, okay, okay. Because I don't know how that stuff works. You know what I mean? No, nah, I'm just fucking with you. You're yeah, tighten up, man. Stop. Don't be such a tight ass with me, a Aiden. Okay. Loosen up. You got this. You got your good nigga friend now. Oh, you say so we're, you friends. Friend. we're friends. You got your good nigga friend now. Yeah, yeah. You into the nigga click now. Say, yo, we got a new white friend named Aiden. He a Jewish. He my first Jewish buddy. Yes. This is amazing. I just told a bunch of, look, I just told all them niggas about you right there. You see oh all them niggas? Oh, my God. Wait, this is so good. Wait, does that mean I can? We can hang out now. No, not that one. Does that mean I can, you know? Say the N-word? You goddamn right you can say nigga. Really? Yeah. Say, hey, let me say, say you swear to God. I swear to God on the Holy Bible you can say, yeah, man. The word nigga is all inclusive. We're not niggers. None of us can be a nigger. We nigga. <laughs> N-I-G-G-A. Tupac indoctrinated the white kids into the nigger nation. So you're more than welcome. Thank you for the pass. I think I'm going to pass on the pass for now. Um, Wait till we say when we get in secret and ride in the car together in Uber, we're going to tell the Uber to Bluetooth a song and you can say nigga all day long ride with me. Fair enough. Thank you, bro. I appreciate the pass in the car when it's just you and I, no cameras on. I appreciate that. That's noted. Gladly noted. And, uh, you know, well, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Um, let me ask you a question. Would you ever do a stream with me in person? Would you ever meet me with me in person? Are you a homosexual? No. You like girls? Yes. Yeah, I do want wish in person. Okay, cool. Wait, so if I said yes to the homosexual answer, what would your opinion or your answer be? Uh, I would have finished this interview. I would have said, no, we could never do nothing in person. Yeah. I don't want to be mistaken as an LGBTQK supporter. But yeah, so I would have been professional, finished out the interview. I would have blocked your manager's number in the phone so I couldn't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have lost all contact and I would have revoked your motherfucking nigga pad. Fair enough. Fair game. So um, to answer your question, sir, again, I'm not uh, gay. Good. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> so um, let's say- That's a fucking relief. Shit. Oh, that's a relief. Did you think I was? For a moment I did. Come on. What gives off gay vibes to you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Everything about you. No, I'm just bullshit. Your hair, no, your hair style, you know, your hair style. Uh, and you kept you kept defending the weak. Who's the weak? All the people you were defending. Who did I defend? The Chinese? I love the Chinese. You don't like the Chinese? I love the Chinese. I've been I done been to a bunch of bad houses, Asian massage parlors, buying Asian pussy. I done done that a lot of times. I just don't like the Asian niggas. The one that, you know, the Asian that try to act black and go nigga, nigga. I feel you on that. But not all Asians are bad, bro. I love Asian people. They're amazing. I do too. And shout out to Judge Alex Kim. He's one of the hardest, meanest judges in my city, in Tarrant County. And he's Asian in every black wanna, person in his city. I want to shout, down, he raced. I wanna shout out to my Asian friends. Shout out to Rice Gum and shout out to China Mac. <laughs> what? You got a friend named Rice Gum? <laughs> That's the thing you got from that. Yeah. Fucking. Get the. What? Next up, you say, listen, Rice Gum? Yeah. Fuck is wrong with him? What do you mean? And what? Ted. Spit it out. Yeah, yeah, they must be some, uh, yeah, they two rapping nigga Asians. How can I already tell by their name? A good sensible Asian name is Dow Nguyen. Lee Ming. They don't come with all that other crazy ass shit. Yeah, that's them old nigga Asians. Yeah, go get you some real Asian friend. 
Wait, there's like, good math. Like, there's good in math and STEM, STEM, and all that kind of right, shit. Don't right. get the don't don't get them rapping ass Asians, my nigga. Don't do that, Asian. Go right. get if you go get some if you go get some rapping friends. Go get some niggas, dude. They can Rice Gum can rap and he's good at math. When you're good at math, your brain cannot allow you to rap good. Really? So he can't be good. He cannot be good at math and rap. The good, smart brains cannot dumb down like that. I Only see. dumb minds can rap. Hmm. But I mean, Eminem's a genius. He, Eminem is the greatest rapper of all time. He was a drug addict. Where is the genius at? Okay. Because he can rap? So what? Yeah, he was a drug addict. So what? What businesses did he create before he started rapping, before you say he's genius? Okay. Um, he created battle rap in a way. Um, he put it on the map. He put Detroit rap on the way, on the map. Oh, he, Eminem, Eminem, hey. Eminem is the greatest rapper of all time. You blind motherfucker. He is. He's the GOAT. Tupac here. Tupac here. Pac is one of, I, in my opinion, Pac is more of an artist. That's why I don't put him as a rapper. He did, he did, he, Pac did more than rap. I, I, I give you that. I give you that. Yeah. I give you that. Yeah. Uh, I give you that. Oh. Uh, God damn it, Aiden, I might have to agree with you. Thank you. You actually agree with me on something. God damn it, Aiden, I, I might have to agree with you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, I'm trying not to. Don't start to stop. Let me think. I, I'm trying. Shit. I can't find oh, oh, oh. Shit. Go on. I got to agree with you. I can't, I can't argue this point. Let's go on to the next. All right, next one. So look, man. Um, You know. I want to know. Do you know about any streamers? you know about me? Did you hear about me before this or no? Who don't fucking know you? Yeah, I seen you, little. Yeah, I seen you, man, here and there. But I didn't know what the fuck you did. I thought you was a foreigner somewhere, like an Arab motherfucker over there in Saudi Arabia. What? Dubai, some fucking world. Yeah, I ain't think you was American. No, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an American. Yeah, yeah, I'm American. Okay, but no, nah, no, nah, man. Uh, I knew of you. I just didn't know much about you. Do you know? Any, start... Do you know any other streamers like my boy Speed Kai? Um, no. Do you know about um, Cheese TV? Who? Say Cheese TV. Say Cheese TV. Yeah, I know him. That's the only streamer I know. Do you know Andrew Tate? Yeah, I don't know him. I, yeah, I don't see. I just started watching Tate. You like him? I, I, I just started watching him when he got out of jail. You like oh, him? I'm starting to like him. Good. Good. Yeah, I'm starting to like him. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm starting to like him. Good. Yeah, he's, yeah, I'm starting to like him. He's good, bro. He's good. He's good, right? I'm starting to like him. Do you like uh I don't I don't like many motherfuckers, but boy, I'm starting to like that motherfucker. Do you like uh Donald Trump? I love him. I love him. No way, no way he has a stop it. Let's go! I love, I love, I love that him. man. Hey man, I think I like you now, bro. Holy shit. You goddamn right I love Trump. You want to see something? Yeah. I got that one too. You know? You know? Yeah, but that's my boy. I, mm. I argued a point today. I said I grew up ever since I was a kid admiring him and looking up to him and many did other black people. I remember as a kid seeing him receive awards. With, 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 with Muhammad Ali, man, and Rosa Parks. There's a misconception in the world that Trump's evil and all these things, bro, but he's genuinely for the country, you know? Most definitely. And, 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 and most people don't know uh, he was part of the reason that the guild and shirt-making factory closed down in Mexico and he had it moved to Haiti so the Haitian people can have some economic resources and development. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, he, he, he's done a lot that people don't speak of. And so he get, you know, a lot of that get overshadowed with, you know, all this talk of him going to jail and being arrested in these charges, man. But he, he really done more for black people uh, since the 1964 civil rights legislation uh, that we've seen in our lifetime. Mm. Fair enough, fair game. Um, okay, well, uh, the whole chat's putting Ws, I mean, they, they fuck with what you just said. Um, let's see here. You know, I saw this man and I was affected. I, I felt some type of way about it, bro. I didn't like what you said about King Von. In my opinion, King Von was a great rapper, made great music, you know, um, and, you know, R.I.P. to King Von. 
Or what about all the victims that the FBI have evidence and reports that he did kill? What about those victims, their families, to hear you say that? What about their families? The only reason King Vaughn got out of jail because all the witnesses in the murder case came up dead. And black people honor him for killing people. Well, he's known for, he, listen to me, he's known for killing people. He's not known for rapping. He's known for killing people. Not true. I, I knew Vaughn because he was a rapper and he was a good rapper, bro. No, no, yes. no, listen. Yes, bro. You know him for that. But the rest of the world know him for killing. The FBI just put out documentation that he's a serial killer because he killed so many people. Well, hold on a second. What do you guys know Vaughn for? Rapping? I know him for rapping. You know what I'm saying? I know him for rapping, man. And honestly, bro, you know, I fuck with Chicago music scene a lot, bro. I'm heavy into that shit, so... You know, uh, oh wow. What about, hold on, hold on, hold on. You fuck with it, but I watched the pain of it. Tuka's mother. See, I met Tuka's mother, and King Von kept talking about smoking on Tuka. That that woman is suffering from that. Why he make why he make mockery of her son's death. So I mean, you'll say, all right, hold up, hold up. I can call Tuka's mother right now. No need. No need for that. I'm here. No need. So 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 why you sympathize with the killers, I I empathize with the victims, families. So it's easy for me to say, fuck a killer. Yeah. Um, fair enough. Now, you know, I don't like to get inside on the side of things. You know, I, I, I'm not, listen, bro. I'm not, I'm not GDK or BDK. I think everybody, everybody matters. I love everybody, bro. So, you know. Well, let me just say this. Out of all of that, there are victims because these aren't grown men who was dying and killing. These was black children. Yeah. So it's easy for the Jewish boy to say, hey, I love it all. But there's a lot of pain and suffering I, I, for the thing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you're looking down. I'm looking up because I'm down here with the mothers who buried these sons. Yeah. FBG Ducks mother. Mo3 mother. I sit with these mothers. Dobie mother. Why M.W. Melly's victim family? I talk to these victims. So it's easy for me to say fuck them niggas. She keep, on, the blocking, family... she keep on blogging, ignoring my call. So yeah, so so it's easy for the Jewish white kid to say, hey, I'm not GDBD. I love it all. R.P. King Von. And every time you say R.P. King Von, there's nine victim families that hurt. That hurt. So Fuck King Vaughn. Hey! Don't smile, bro. You can't just say that with a smile, bro. I say it with a smile because he was a demon. How can a Jewish boy love a demon? He professed and confessed as being a demon. And he had demon actions to prove it. Man, I just, you know, I love I love Vaughn's music, bro. You yeah. can't do that with the bar misfit talk. Come on, Jew boy. You can't do that. You, you cannot love demons. I don't love demons. You say you love King Von? But can I be honest? All, all of his music. Hold up, hold up. The music you love promotes killing of black people. King Von didn't hey, make party stop songs. Call me a Jew boy. He didn't make getting high songs. He made killing black boy songs. Yes, but look, that's very. Who's your Who's your favorite rapper? Tupac. He never made a song. Tupac is a great rapper. It's very hard to like. You he know. talks about. He talked about peace, yeah, 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 about peace Pac. and stuff. I know, I know about Pac's music. Listen, man, I just think that there's perspectives on everything. Like, for example, I don't know what it's like to be a part of that life and that culture. So I'm not going to say here and tell you my take because you're right. It sounds stupid coming from the, the white Jewish boy in your words. I get it. I'm going to leave it alone. But what I will say is this. I'm a fan of rap music. Okay. And so I'm I, up. And I like certain rappers and that's that. Let me ask you a question. So am I. You fuck with Kanye. Yes, sir. You fuck with Kanye West. I love him. Why do you love Ye? Oh, <coughs> uh, he's a genius. Don't call me Jew. Uh, for real, that shit's annoying. College dropout to billionaire. You gotta respect accomplishments. Uh, yeah. makes great music. Facts. Uh, has a great mind. Yep. Uh, really has a good heart. Uh. I think he's more misunderstood uh, than he is accurately judged. I, I just, I love you. I didn't like when, the, when he said Hitler was right. Oh, uh, well, you like King Von. King Von is a Hitler. You said perception. 
perspective, from our perspective, King Von is a Hitler. The terror that he rained upon families. So, perspective. It's different. Perspective. How is it different? It's a perspective. Who was hurt by that besides feelings? Who was hurt by him saying that besides people's feelings? Nobody died. It's a perspective. So on the YNW Melly situation, do you feel for Melly at all? Not at all. But how do you know he did it, bro? Uh, Chad, did he do it? Who knows? We don't know until, uh, you know, he's not guilty until proven guilty. Right? You had me a question. I said, yeah. Well, my bad. Finish it. So what is your thoughts on the whole situation, the Melly situation? Uh, when I look at the evidence, he's guilty. When I look at the evidence presented, he's guilty. It's not circumstantial. Mr. He just got some good he just got some good lawyers. Mr. White, do you hate anybody? No, I don't hate nobody. You got to come from hate to hate. Uh, I come from a loving, nurturing mother who, who believe her God had, loves white people too. So yeah, my mama don't hate nobody. So it's hard for me to hate anybody. Would you and me be good friends if we grew up together? Uh, probably so. Yeah, I got a lot of good white friends from school that we still friends to this day. Okay. Um, well... Shout out to Tegan Broadwater. Yeah, that's my good white friend, Tegan Broadwater. Okay. Yeah, and his wife, Holly, Miss Broadwater. Those are my good friends. They come to my mom's house and everything. They want to know, have you ever been in prison? If you have, what is your craziest story? Uh, never in my life been to prison. Uh, I went to the boys' home. I went to juvie. Uh, I'm a juvie. What happened to juvie? Anything crazy happened to juvie? Nah, we it was back in them days. Juvie was like the boarding school. There were boys and girls in there. We had off-campus passes. We had a football team, track team, basketball team. Sounded lit. Yeah, yeah, it was man. It was called Giddings. It was called Giddings State Home and School in Giddings, Texas. That sounded fire. Yeah, yeah, we had off-campus passes. We can go to college. We can work at the Sonic, the Pizza Hut, and the feed store in the community. Uh, we had a, a indoor heated Olympic-sized swimming pool, weight room, game room, Sega. Uh, we had a kitchen to cook on the dorm. We go off campus to do Walmart shopping trips to go buy oven pizzas and chicken pot pie, all kind of shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, very crazy. Okay. Um. They want to know, man. How was your? How was it like growing up? Did you grow up with any siblings? You said you you mentioned your mother. Yeah, I got I, I got I got an older brother. Uh, my dad was in the navy. Uh, oh, my nice. mom, my mom retired from General Motors. Uh, 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 my my I got an older brother, man. Uh, he he was a trouble kid. He went to prison. He caught a, he caught a capital murder case would you when he was seventeen. Would you when he was seventeen? Would you? Old. If your let me ask a question. Would you ever snitch on your own brother? Uh. Yeah, I have. What? Yeah, yeah, I have. What do you mean? Yeah, I didn't I, yeah, all my life I used to tell my mama shit on that boy. I'm saying, let me ask you something hypothetically. You said you snitch on anyone who commits crime. So if your brother committed a crime in your eyes, would you tell the police? Yeah, could that mean I'm accessory to it? That's your brother, bro. I got kids to live for. I'm not putting my brother before my kids. How old are your kids? 19 and 15. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, I'm not, don't, no, no I, I want to be free. And then I don't love my brother more. I love pussy more than I love my brother. I don't want to get pussy up forever for my brother. So you, for nobody. So you would fuck somebody over saving your brother's life? Oh, uh, if my brother done something wrong that ain't saving his life. You're redeeming him. Though, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You, you're not asking the same. You're asking two totally different questions. Fair enough. Okay, but listen, bro. Can I just say one thing, dude? You're, you're tripping because look, if you had a brother, right, and he said, committed a crime, he told you about it, you'd just be like, cool, I don't know anything. Why would you, nah. why would you tell? Uh, because I be, because there's a such thing as right and wrong. So if he got caught, well, there's a such thing as right and wrong. When my brother killed somebody, my mama made him turn himself in. Are you serious? My, when you took somebody, come on, bro. You, it's, it's only two. So you're a Jewish guy. Yeah. 
why are you trying to project as if you would go with wrong over right, but you're Jewish? I thought Jewish people did what was right. We do what's right, of course. So why are you trying to advocate for Rome? I mean, bro, I'm not snitching on my own sibling if they commit a crime. Let them, you, yeah, you would? No, I would not. So you would go to jail for them? I wouldn't go to jail for them, but I wouldn't say shit. They're going to get caught because and I, people... And I didn't know. Get, I'm not a witness. I wasn't, at the, I wasn't at the crime situation. What the fuck? Well, I, I, I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. Why? Uh, because God's watching. Jew, yeah, I'm starting to think Jews is some bullshit people. Then, uh oh, yeah, you've been trying to get with Jews. What the fuck now, is this? Think Jews is some no good riding motherfucker. Where you talking? I'm not saying that, bro. You the only Jew I know. I ain't hey. never been now. I'm starting to think some Jews is some dirty motherfucker. Oh. Right and right and wrong. Right and right. If my mama wrong, she wrong. Whoever wrong, whoever wrong. That's hey. what my mother taught me. My black mother taught me right is right and wrong is wrong. I don't care if it's your mother or father. Wrong is wrong, son. So you stand on the side of right. Yeah, Jews ain't. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna stop. When I get through, I'm gonna tell all these niggas say, how many Jews, motherfuckers? Some blow down. Yeah. Look what you're saying to me. Dude, all I'm saying is if my. my, my... You commit a crime as my brother, don't put me in your business, nigga. Keep it to your motherfucking self. Don't make me an accessory. Don't put this on my conscience. Because you went and done wrong. I wasn't there with you, so why you want to tell me? That's your fault, not mine. You shouldn't have told me. Keep your own secrets. When you do wrong, don't tell nobody. And you ain't got to worry about nobody snitching on you, including your brother. Wait, really? So by, as, as long as, so I can pretty much commit a crime and just not tell anyone and I'm good? The cameras go see you. Nigga, they got cameras at every corner. They got cameras in space that can look down here. How you think they caught the Boston Marathon bombers? How you think they caught the Boston Marathon bombers? How? That space, that motherfucking eye in the sky? Really? You do something bad enough, they going to get that satellite camera and rewind the tape. So wait, are they always watching them? Man, quit playing with me. You know the hell. That's scary. No, it's not. Yeah. They always been watching. That's They're sick. never not watching. Do you think if they wanted to, they could tap into this camera or like tap into my phone? Oh, uh, they do every day. Yeah, they do every day. Wow. Yeah, spe they speculation has it. When China sent that motherfucking balloon over here, that balloon went all the way halfway across America. And that balloon was able to tap in into every camera, every home, and collect data as it flew over and throughout America before they shot it down. Damn. So what's the way to knock it, you know, to, to stay low key? I don't know. I'm a very open glass, you know, uh, glass bowl kind of guy. Wait, can you, I'm turn, a fish bowl can you, can you turn it away? I don't like to barely see you. It's getting dark in Texas. What about now? Still can barely see you, sir. What about now? It's mm -hmm. getting dark. Now I can see you. Hold on, let me put my big light on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like your grill in your mouth. Yeah, I've been having it for about 15 years. Let me see, my son, 19. He was about two or three when I got it put in. Is it? It's, is, a, it's, a, is it's it, a southern thing. Is it permanent? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, just thank the girls who, who be wanting me to suck on their pussy and can see them diamonds sparkling while I'm down there sucking and eating I don't, on their pussy. I don't, I don't believe you've never eaten a pussy. You have eaten pussy before. One time. Oh, okay. How did that go? A white, a white girl named Ginger. You I was in the eighth grade. Yeah, I was in the eighth grade. He trying to eat some pussy, and it was tangy. Yeah, it was tangy when I ate it. So it's been. So I'm a little hesitant to eat pussy because I think it's tangy. I, I'm a more uh, barbecue, sweet and sour kind of guy than the tangy taste. That's disgusting. Yeah, you know the old nigga say she probably had a pissy pussy. That probably would piss on that pussy, boy. Ew! You ate a piss vagina. When 
When you suck pussy, you eating all that. You don't know what's coming out that pussy when you eat that pussy, bleed, pee, and do all kind of things. And come. You don't know what's coming out that pussy when you got your mouth on it. Have you ever got an STD before? Yeah, hell yeah. Ew. I think all, I think all good men have been burned a few times. Ew, you have a dirty penis, Charleston. So, all, all penises <laughs> is dirty from what I was told. Everybody penis dirty. Let me put it together. Yeah. I Wait. thought all men had dirty penises. What STD do you have? Or had? had. Uh, I don't have nothing. But I done had chlamydia and gonorrhea in my 20s. Ew. Yeah, yeah. I done had chlamydia and gonorrhea in my 20s. That's a dirty dick you have, huh? Uh, I think all dicks are dirty. Not in shower, of course. Uh, I think all men got dirty dicks. We don't will. We fuck, we, we fuck don't we? Yeah. Unless you want unless you're a weenie and you don't get the fuck. <laughs> don't call me a weenie. Come on. Yeah, now if you know, I, I think most jocks and, and honks and, and Hollywood kind of guys, we yeah, motherfucker reckless with that dick in his 20s. Boy, I've been fucking ever since I was eight years old. Oh, uh, that's a lie. You lying to me? We've been hunting, man. You lie, man. You ain't never, you ain't from the ghetto then. You ain't been around ghetto people. I have. Then you know motherfuckers from the ghetto fucking at an early age. Why? What you mean why? Why do you fuck? You don't li eight. You don't li you don't listen to our music? I All our music promoting sex. There's no way a kid can listen to our music and not want to fuck. There's no way a kid can watch these videos, these rap videos, and not want to fuck. There's no way a kid can play Grand Theft Auto, go into the little strip club part, get the lap dance, and not want to fuck. <laughs> your testosterone, your hormones go get your dick hard. My so when you're unsupervised, so when you're around in an area where there's a bunch of unsupervised kids, why you think niggas can join gangs at 12 years old? Why? Why you think? Because they're unsupervised. Damn. So then what the fuck do we have to do then to fix that? You can't. You ain't God. You ain't Jesus. You ain't. You can't fix nothing but yourself. Your family. Your friends, the people that you come in contact with. Annette, man, you wasting your motherfucking time. You can't save the world. Uh, Charleston, you know, um, wait, are you smoking right now? Like a motherfucker, I've been smoking the whole interview. Um, you know, you're smoking weed and you happen to be in Texas. I think that's kind of illegal. Oh, uh, this is CBD. CBD is legal in Texas. See, most people don't know that there's a difference between CBD, <laughs> hemp, and marijuana. So that's CBD, CBD, huh? CBD is legally being sold out of stores and gas stations, so it's not illegal to smoke CBD. Oh, that's oh, it is, oh, oh, that's CBD. Oh, okay, okay. And 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 FYI, the federal government, the police, nor the courts have any kind of test that can tell the difference between CBD, <laughs> hemp, or marijuana. It's all in the packaging. Really? FYI. So wait a minute. So you're telling me right now, if it were, which it's not, THC? This is, so I, I make sure my CBD distributor give it to me like CBD is supposed to be given without any marijuana leaves on it. With a THC label, with the percentage, with a stamp from California. Now it's marijuana. When you package it up and put it out, it, it's the packaging. Man, guys, you smoking that Reggie. Listen to me, guys. Listen to me. This is CBD, but it's Zaza. I just beat a pistol case. I legally got my gun license. I carry guns. Mm -hmm. But if you got if you got marijuana and guns together, that's illegal. I keep getting the cases dropped because I keep going to court saying this is not marijuana. This is CBD. I'm trying to give a hint if people are paying attention. Oh. Quit being dumbasses and listen. God, oh. God damn it! <laughs> what? Why are you stressed? Can you relax? Well, I'm trying, but you guys won't fucking pick up the hints. Do I just gotta come out and say it? No, don't say. It. Where'd you go? Hold on. Somebody was calling. 
Don't do you scared me. Don't leave. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, man. Oh, uh, but no, nah, oh. Uh, no, nah, man. So when you're riding around with all those pretty packages, so let me just say this. About three months ago, get pulled over with probably a, a blunt of marijuana at the airport. Legal in Texas, right? He pulls me out and says, who's this? I says, it's mine. He said, man, I got to take you to jail. I, I said, I already know because of the packaging. So when he, he's looking at the packaging, the packaging saying it's THC. It says the percentage. He flips it over. It got the California stamp on the back where it's, it shows. But Do I this little no. bit that I had in the console, he just threw this in the wind. Because what? it was in this bag. What the fuck? Was, really? Yeah. So, so I signed a deal with a with a hemp cannabis company called the Weed Spot. So they created me my own Delta Nine serve, right? To help me combat the opioid crisis. So I wanted to create something that'll give a nigga the lean effect, like syrup, like promethazine. So I signed this deal. So wait we minute, met wait, with wait, the. Wait, my bad, I don't really want to interrupt you. Did you just say you can create the lean effect like promethazine? I did. So. Where did you go, Daddy? So, so I just told you the weed spot, the weed spot.com. So it's a, but it's a CBD store in downtown Dallas. So there's one in Dallas, Atlanta, Houston, and one opening up in Miami. So listen to me. So when I signed this contract, Stop leaving me here. Motherfucker's blowing my phone up. So when I signed this contract, right, the attorneys explained to me. I said, man, what if I get caught with this? I'm going to go to jail. I got caught with over 30 tubes of this shit looking like sir. They just knew that I would have promethazine with codeine. So I learned there's a difference. And I'm going to say this again, people. I learned that there is a difference between marijuana, hemp, and CBD. All about the packaging and presentation. You can damn near get caught with 50 pounds of weed and go to court and say it's CBD. <laughs> and be, I'm telling you, look the cases up. I'm telling you from a guy who done caught two gun charges within the last two years having guns and marijuana together. And I still get to keep my guns today because I go to court. Is that actually true, chat? Hmm. Damn, that's a crazy Check one. Court. Just look up. Look it up, homie. You'll see I had a, yeah. So I'm just dropping a little game in the midst of bullshit and having fun with my new friend, yeah. Aiden. My new friend. That's crazy. Nah, um, damn. I mean, okay. Well, I'm playing dumb sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm playing. Yeah. I'm on the internet playing dumb. You guys got a question from chat? I'm getting hungry. What a, um, let me see real quick. They want to know. Fuck, you, they won't go now. No, they want to know, would, would you ever stream, live stream? What, well, hell? On kick. Are you digging in your nose? I I I I um I had a little itch. <laughs> I'm about to say I know you ain't a nose booger digging white boy, is you? <laughs> no, no. Are you a nose digging black boy? <laughs> I scratch my nuts. Me too. Do it right now. Let me know what it smells like. Here, I got you. I'm gonna go first. No, 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 no. That's the white boy shit. Oh. That's the white boy shit. Oh, okay. No, no, no. The white boy shit. Okay. Okay, my bad. Yeah, I'd much rather play a, a NB2K with you before we do some shit like I that. I'd love to play 2K. Today. I'm great. I'm great. Oh, you real? Very good at 2K. Very, very good. Can you play basketball in real life, though? Bro, I beat everybody. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm really, really good. I bet you can't beat me. I bet you I can. I'll just post you up. I'll have a good post game. I'm a, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm an Allen Iverson kind of guy. You're an AI? I'm like a Dirk Nowitzki. I have a really good stroke. I see you got a thing for German. What? You like Dirk Nowitzki. Jim Jay a German, eh? No. 
Yeah, yeah. Would you ever? Would you one v one me? What the fuck you did at me? <laughs> would you one v one me? I thought you said you wouldn't gay. Would you one v one me? That's not gay. What the fuck is one v one v? One v one is basketball. One versus one. Oh, you're a real white guy. Sure, I sure I will, Aiden. Is is I man, where I'm from, we say one on one. One v one. <laughs> man, that sounds like some freaky shit. Some new shit. No, well, I wouldn't do that. Fuck no. Listen, one on one. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can play one on one. Yeah. I say one v one. That's what I say. You must have been rich all your life. No, I actually haven't. There's a misconception on the internet that I grew into money and stuff. I didn't. You know, I got stabbed um, by a knife before. Who stabbed you? Uh, my uncle. He was uh, on drugs and he was in my sleep. I was 12 years old. Why he pick you? He thought I worked for the FBI. You probably did. I was 12 years old. It's impossible. In his mind, you did. So, yeah, so as a man thinking, so it is. Are you fucking defending him, bro? He literally, I was 12, yeah. I was 12 years old in my sleep. So? <laughs> I thought you, you just was said- an FBI, You was an FBI agent in his mind. No, no. He wasn't hurting you. Was, bro, he wasn't is, hurting you. He was hurting the FBI agent. Think about that, Aiden. He wasn't hurting you. He hurt the FBI agent. Yo, yo. Bro, what is going on? Why are you guys saying facts? Listen, that's not true. I was 12 years Aiden, old. Aiden, yes, in his mind. As a man thinking, so is he. So in his mind, when he's you the agent. Okay, he's so, so you're telling me right now, you tell me right now, in Hitler's mind, when he said, all Jews are bad, I'm gonna kill them. That was- Stop doing it. Hey, 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 listen. Stop comparing everything to the Jew, German shit. That ain't got nothing to do with what we talking about. He was sick. So in his mind, yeah, he thought Jews was evil. So as a man thinking, so is he. Just think, it's some men that think they women. <laughs> so they wake up, they dress like women, they talk like women, but they got a swinging dick. <laughs> and it still get hard. So wait, if a man one day dresses up to be a woman, is he in the right? Aiden, let's stick to what we were talking about. You were not your nephew. You were not your uncle nephew when he stabbed you. Yes, I was. You were no. an FBI agent. No, I was not an FBI agent. I was not. In your mind, you was his nephew. In his mind, you a goddamn agent, and he got you. <laughs> he got me. What is wrong with you, bro? I was twelve. You were a twelve-year-old agent that meant him harm. Okay. Whatever, bro. First of all, why are you guys agreeing with him? First of all, they're saying yes, it's true. But like, what? I was... You was an agent in his mind. Okay, I well, all right, I got some of you. Miss Charleston, listen. He committed a crime, so does he deserve to go to jail? He sure did. Thank he you. He sure did. Thank you. He deserved to go to jail. Okay, thank you. Would you snitch if you were there in the room and you saw it happen? I got damn right. I would have went to court and testified against his motherfucking ass, told everything I seen what happened. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's goddamn right. I would have done that. Crazy motherfucker to stab that baby. Yeah, yeah, I would have told on this motherfucker <laughs> ass. Exactly. So now you know what's up then, bro. Thank you. Have you ever done any crazy drugs such as like meth or heroin? Never. I tried Molly one time trying to have sex. And in the midst of me having sex, I went to 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 space to help him some motherfucking while. Well. So I was ready to call the emergency room and tell them that I done took some shit that I can't come down on and I'm scared. And I ain't never done no hard drugs. Gotcha. Dude, I was addicted to lean for three months. It was the best thing of my life, but it was the worst thing of all time, if that makes sense. Uh, white boy done got on lean listening to that motherfucking nigga Jungle Bunny music. <laughs> no, like... It's true. Listen the music. That goddamn thing. Listen. Listen to that motherfucking nigga Johnny Jungle Bunny Beauty White Good Jew White Boy and got off on lean. That's why I'm saying fan that shit. That's why that shit ain't no good. Listen. That goddamn rap music. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. I actually picked up the cup because of a rap music. I swear to God. He's like, I'm telling you. Yeah, no, nah, you're not. All the, Jewish, all the Jewish kids getting fucked up off this rap shit. Really? 
ruining the Jewish community. But little baby said, go to lunch with the Jewish community. See how fucked up you are? Could he have lunch in y'all communities? How does that make me fucked up? How many more little Aiden have picked up Serb listening to that bullshit? I don't know. How many more you how they probably being a little disrespectful to the little Jewish girls? I ain't got putting their thumbs in their butts listening to the future. <laughs> really? Bro, I'm fucking lost right now. All right, you know what? I'm gonna say this though, bro. <laughs> I got off lean, though. You proud of me? I got off that shit. I'm not fucking proud of you because you got off of it. I'm still fucking disappointed that you fucking got on it, Aiden. You're right. You have every right to think that, sir. Yeah, you wasn't supposed to never fucking get on the guy of your Ever. fucking caliber. I was doing... Never. Caliber? What do you mean by that? You're, you're Jewish white guy, man. You're smart. Not, you're intelligent. You're right. You're right. Who am I to do that, dude? Fucking yeah. Listening to that fucking... Jungle Bunny music. Wait, why are you call it Jungle Bunny music? What is Because it is. It's for the savages. The ruthless. Yeah, no, you're not wrong, my friend. I should have gotten on all that shit. Yeah, man. What kind of drugs you taking now, Aiden? I, why do you... I'm, I'm sober. Okay. I'm just asking. Sober, man. I, uh, I've i been going to the gym back again. I was looking great, man. My body was looking really good. And then I had... Got on How much you weigh? Well, right now, you know, I just started. I'm about 173. You want to do a celebrity boxing match one day? With you? Man, you too motherfucking big to fight me, but yeah. You know I'd fuck you up, bro. Man, I'd kick your motherfucking ass. Uh, you would not kick young, my ass. Young, I would young kick your motherfucking ass. Young motherfucking I'd kick your you're ass, too young old. Punk. You're too old, uncle. Uncle Grandpa. Boy, I'd kick your you're ass, too young fucking old. You're too old, Granny. You're too fucking old. I would smack the shit out of you and go sleep. Like a fucking Z quill. You're not doing shit to me, bro. You're too old for this shit. Stop. I'm young. I'm fast. I'm quick. I got everything I'll, again. I got everything you don't have, bro. Speed, age, all this shit. You flat footed, not needed, slow swinging. Why? Why I kick you square right off of your ass? Hey, set the fight up and for Christmas. Christmas? Why Christmas? I, I'm actually Jewish, sir. Well, you know, I, I can't hear you. You got the mute. I can't hear you. Oh, my bad. Not Christmas. We're doing it during Hanukkah. What's Hanukkah? It's the Jewish Christmas, basically. What day that is it on? Do you get presents? It depends on it depends on the year. Uh, in December. Do you get presents for, for Hanukkah? You get nine presents, sir. Seven to eight to nine-ish around there. You don't get more than nine? I get about nine presents about that brain. I used to get more than nine as a kid. Yeah, mama, I was a spoiled little black boy. I got more than nine. Fuck, I was going to be living to no motherfucking nine presents. What, what, how many presents did you get? Man, I only got 18 one time, and I got the Nintendo Power Pad with it. Oh, Because I used to get clothes. I used to get clothes, too. Shoe. We always got a bunch of shoes. Good for you, bro. That's awesome. How many presents do you get now? Not a motherfucking thing. <laughs> well, now, now that I'm famous, now that I'm famous, Boy, they give me good gifts for Christmas. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Father's Day. Birth oh, I get good gifts now. Damn. I'll tell you what. But man, when I wasn't famous three years ago, I ain't get shit. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a Christmas gift if you give me a Hanukkah gift. Bit, I got you. See, that right there will make you like my kind. You said you don't like white people. You'll like me now. You're Jewish. You're not white. Okay. That right there will make you like my kind. Now you like Jewish people now. Yeah, uh, whatever you do, don't give me a proud Michael Jordan tennis shoe. I Why? hate him. I don't like Michael Jordan and I don't like Michael Jordan tennis shoe. Why don't you like Michael Jordan? He's a basketball dribbling nigga, nothing more. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, he's, no, he's arguably the greatest basketball player of all time. Yeah, basketball dribbling nigga, nothing more. He wasn't a good owner. Yeah, all he can do is play basketball. He ain't a good golf player. He ain't shit. Dribbling ass nigga, high jumping ass nigga. Once them nigga can't jump high and dribble and run fast no more, they don't be good for nobody. It's not true. He created the Jordan brand. I mean, it's Nike. Nike, Nike created. 
Yeah, he got the worst. He got the worst deal in the contract history. Five percent of all that goddamn money Nike done made over the years. He I mean, was a dumb. If, if they made a billion dollars, he got five percent of a billion dollars. It's still fifty. Imagine, imagine if he got a better deal. That's the five. If I got five percent of a billion, that ain't shit. It's fifty million. That ain't. Man, listen, listen. If I make, that's like me saying, okay, Aiden. I done made a hundred thousand dollars this year, and because I use your name, here go a thousand dollars. Okay, I get that. So fair enough. So what do you think about? Wait, okay. So who's the greatest player of all time then in basketball? Ain't no motherfucking greatest player, Larry Bird. Larry Bird? He still he still running basketball today. It's not true. LeBron James, the greatest player to ever live. LeBron James don't own no bunch of niggas though. What are you talking about? Larry Bird on a basketball team with General Manners. That's why he the greatest. What team? He went from playing with niggas to owning niggas. Bro, bro, bro. Fuck. <laughs> bro. Wait, what team does he own? One new motherfucking basketball team, but he in the NBA somewhere. I don't keep up with sports, so I don't know much about that dumb shit. Oh, he owns the Pacers. See, he owned a bunch of niggas. Okay, but he's not the only owner who played. Like, Michael Jordan owns the Hornets. He's not doing well. He sold it. You're right. Okay. Um, Dumb nigga. <laughs> fuck. Um, okay. Uh, who else? LeBron's going to own the Vegas team when it comes out. He already said he wants to. He's going to be a part owner. He's not going to be an owner. Not like Larry. Isn't Larry Bird a part owner as well? He make decisions. LeBron ain't going to make no decisions. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Um, when? How he going to make decisions playing as a player? He going to retire soon? LeBron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When? You talk to him? Uh, no, I, I mean, I, here's what I think is going to happen. LeBron's going to, Brian is going to come in the league. They're going to, they're going to, LeBron's going to go over to everything. Brian gets drafted too. Listen, oh, listen, oh, 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 wait, wait, please, let me explain. Please, this is my theory. Um, as a Bronze actual, listen. LeBron is going to come to the league. LeBron's going to go into the... <laughs> I, I, I'll explain what that meant. It's not gay. As a bronze sexual, I'm going to explain what that means. Hold on. LeBron is going to get drafted. LeBron's going to go to the team that LeBron gets drafted to. They're going to win a ring. He'll retire. The GOAT. LeBron ain't going to never play basketball the same after this heart attack. That You're a hater. Don't, don't be a hater, bro. He's going to be even better. He ain't going to always don't have that spirit in his Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. He might be the See, next man in by You're hating, bro. You're hating. See, like... Why do that? Why hate? Why do this hating bullshit? Brian is even better, bro, to be honest with you. I'm telling you right now. Watt's going to shock everyone. You'll see. You'll see, bro. He ain't, he ain't got the heart. Yes, he. That's he not funny. He ain't got the heart. Nah, that's weird, bro. Chill out that, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Hey, out of respect, bro, for, come on, bro. Like, to be honest, he's a great guy. I know him personally, bro. You won't even let me finish. You ain't let me, if you let go, nah, take it as an insult. Horrible. I mean, it is an insult, bro. That's dog shit. That's, don't say that shit. Nah, 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 not if you let me make my point, it ain't. There's no point to make. You just said some fucked up shit, bro. Nah, because, because you're, shit, a fuck, bro. you're a fucking kid and your feelings over another motherfucking man. He's a kid that's don't having put, heart problems. Don't put it, okay. He's having but heart being, problems. Bro, you're being weird about it, bro. Come on, bro. Don't do that shit, bro. He's having heart problems, Aiden. It does, okay, but so it's, it's, the, okay. I know that, and everyone does too, bro. He can't play basketball no more. That's not true, He can't be like your daddy. He has heart for the game. Let him have his own career and own legacy, bro. Why do you have to be a hater about it? The boy had a heart attack in his 20s. Man, that ain't never happened before unless no, you can't listen, play basketball. Listen, Ch Charleston, Charleston, bro. You have to put what your camera back on. Where are you going? I'm gonna, I'm where gonna, you go? No, where did you go? Put your camera on. I'm going to change your... Oh, I can't see you. Where you go, man? Listen, okay, there you go. What you're saying is super duper fucked up and ridiculous, bro. You yeah, and fuck what's fucked up. The truth is the truth. That's what's wrong with y'all young generation. Men, bro, the truth ain't bro, fucked bro. up. That's not true, bro. People will beat the odds all the time in this world, bro. Name one person beat the odds. They play basketball. Okay, I'll give you an example. Derrick Rose had a career-ending injury. He came back and still played great. Name when, when he played great. He kept Russell getting hurt. Westbrook, Russell Westbrook got career-ending injury. He, he kept Thompson, getting hurt. Clay Thompson was never supposed to play basketball ever again. He played basketball. You got to understand. Who did? Clay Thompson. He didn't play for did years. Did he have heart problems? No, but listen, bro. Listen, listen. A lot of people have had fucked up problems, bro, and they come back. It's all about how you bounce back, bro. Heart problem, brother. Listen, listen. I get what you're saying. The pressure that your heart got to come on, man. I'll tell you what, right now. I'll tell you what, right now. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Kanye West was not supposed to make in that car accident. 
And okay, we're talking about heart problems. I'm just saying, bro, that's a fucking we're crazy. Talking about heart problems, brother. That's let's a, stick. Let's bro. stick to Bronny. Bro. Let's not look at nothing else. Let's look at Bronny. Bro, he's gonna come back and be good, bro. He's gonna be good. I know, bro. You have to just trust. I have hope. I know he's gonna be good. All I want you to say is this, bro. Listen, listen. I know you're being very ignorant right now. You're being very ignorant. All right. I'm not gonna let you even speak on that, bro, because it's such a sensitive topic. I know him personally. Man, it's fuck up. Bronny. I don't give a fuck about LeBron. Man, fuck that boy. Come on, I'm done, bro. I'm done with that shit, bro. I'm done with that, bro. I'm done with that, bro. Y'all can put me soft all you want, bro. Bro, that shit is too crazy, bro. No, nah, bro. Put soft all you want, bro. Put soft all you want. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care, bro. Y'all being weird. Y'all being weird. Y'all being weird. Y'all being weird. Y'all are being weird, bro. Y'all are being weird, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't care. Y'all being weird. Y'all being weird. Y'all being weird. Y'all being weird. Come on, bro. Bro. Chat. Stop. Stop. Y'all being weird. Stop being weird. Stop being weird, kids. Stop being weirdos, bro. Stop being weird. It's not about being soft. It's not about being soft. It's just it's just difference between being... I'm not letting my chat over... Nah, bro. We're not, we're not doing this, bro. I'm going to tell motherfuckers right now how it is. I don't give a fuck, bro. And people in my chat, you should know better, bro. You... I've been fucking fucking with Bronny for years. I'm not letting him come up here and say that shit, bro. No. I'm taking a stand for it. Put Saw, put LA in all you want. Leave my stream. I don't give a fuck. It's done. It's my foot down right there. No, I don't give a fuck, bro. Soft, soft. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care. It's not about dick riding. It's just wrong. It's wrong to speak on that, bro. It's wrong to speak on that, bro. Shitting on somebody like that. Hating. I don't give a fuck, bro. Who you are, what you got going on. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care, bro. It's time that we, we switch this chat up, bro. Because I'm not fucking with that at all.